Hey y'all, my name is Sarah and welcome to my channel. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day because I've just, literally just now, received a box from the company Case for Making, which is a brick and mortar store in San Francisco. They also have a, a robust online shop and I ran across their paints online through another YouTuber and I just, I was obsessed. I specifically placed an order to get one thing, which I'll mention when I get there. And then I looked through the shop and noticed how many other beautiful products they had and I had to buy them. So this is definitely a splurge purchase for me. I do not normally um, buy this much stuff in one go, but um, I, I had to, it, it was calling to me. I had to do it. So I spent my fun money on a very special purchase. So I'm gonna start unboxing stuff. I've already opened the box, so I'm just going to unwrap and hopefully it won't be too noisy. So the first thing I ordered was this little enamel cup. It was pretty inexpensive and I bought it specifically to hold pens and pencils and stuff on my desk, but it could end up being a water cup, I'm not sure. Um, it's very sturdy, it's enameled tin, I assume. And uh, I just love this style. It's, you know, like the butcher trays um, that people will use to mix paint and gouache and stuff. It's just a really cute, iconic style for painters. So I thought, since I was on the website, I would just order one anyway. This one is, I don't know if you can see, it is a multicolor pencil and it actually has seven colors in it. And I've seen these on Amazon, they're super cheap. Um, I think this one cost $2, it was not super expensive, but um, I've never, I have a lot of these pencils already, but I've never seen one that has seven colors. Um, I've never had the opportunity to buy just one of them. Like you can buy a set of 24 on Amazon, but I just wanted one. I like to sketch with these sometimes. They're just fun to play with. And then this is a teeny tiny mechanical pencil um, these are so cute and it, it's made out of wood even, but I'm going to take it out of the package. So this is just a little mechanical pencil and it is adorable. And this is the rest of the contents of the box. Also the most expensive. Oh, look, there's a little swatch card. That's so cute. They were selling these on the website, but I thought I would just make my own and I didn't, I didn't bother um, buying one. So I'm glad they included one. And a cute little card. So anyway, on to the good stuff. The first, the, re the whole reason I went to the shop, the whole reason I went to their store online was for this little beauty. This is an egg yolk yellow enamel tin and it is delightfully yellow. I love it. It comes with these little rails and you stick those um, in to hold your watercolors in place. And I will show you how that works in a moment, but wow. It's just, just for a little travel case, it will hold 12 colors and it is absolutely beautiful. 
so i'm so excited i mean oh it's so thin look at it it has a flat bottom and it comes with a thumb ring who uses the thumb ring i don't use those does anybody use the thumb ring oh i can't wait to fill it up that's beautiful so i'm gonna set that right there and we get to the good stuff i'm going to zoom you in just a bit and let's get going Oh, we have an escapee. I painstakingly went through the entire case for making set of watercolors and chose a palette of 12 colors, which will fit in the travel palette. Colors that I thought that I could use in addition to some colors that were outside of my comfort zone. Kind of in an effort to expand my artistic horizons a little bit. So let's get these in color order. So the colors I got are Italian Gold Ochre, Case for Making Poppy, which is a color that they make themselves using, it's a blend of pigments. So anything that says Case for Making is a blend, anything that has just a color name is a single pigment color. This is Carmine Nakarat, Blue Ridge Red Hematite, French Rose Lake, Case for Making Plum, which is a blend. Cerulean Blue, I do think, you know, I didn't check the pigment on this, but I think that this is a hue. Indigo, Turquoise Lake, Case for Making Moss, which is a blend, Case for Making Cypress, a blend, and Burnt Umber Dark. So I'm gonna unwrap these bad boys and get them into that palette. That's so nice, they've labeled the pans. That's awesome. Oh my God, it's so nice. All right, well, since we have a swatch card, let's swatch it on there. So that first color was the Italian Gold Ochre, and this is Case for Making's Poppy Blend. I'm just gonna note that this paper is not, this paper is not watercolor paper, so I'll swatch these again on different paper. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, because this paper is not, it's not watercolor paper, it'll be great for the swatch card because it's so cute, but. So I'm going to do some really nice big swatches on my Etcher 100% cotton paper. Okay. And I'm going to use my tiny Oto mechanical pencil to do the labels.
Please don't judge me on my swatching skills. I don't usually use a flat brush for this. I have done better. Cerulean blue is definitely a phthalo blue, I think. I mean, yeah, this color has lower pigment strength or less tenting strength, but it's just gorgeous. I don't care. I know you can't really see it, but there is some, wow, there's an underlying blue tone on this, wow, this cypress color, this cypress color has an interesting blue undertone, it's kind of staining, but it's like a slate blue, slate blue color, it's, wow, I love that color. So the burnt umber dark definitely has some granulation happening, but it's it is disappointingly low pigmented, low pen, low tinting strength. So wow, that was an interesting color. I mean, it's got some crazy granulation happening, and it does get darker the more you work at it. So maybe I just need to pre-wet it. 
Okay, so that is it for this haul video. I am in love with most of these colors. I think the pigment strength is beautiful. I will probably end up swapping out a couple of things. Let's be real. I think I will probably end up swapping out the French Rose Lake for something else and probably the Blue Ridge Hematite and or I might keep the Blue Ridge Hematite and swap out the Burnt Umber Dark because it is not it takes some re some digging to get pigment out of that one. The rest of the colors though I'm very happy with. I wish Poppy was a bit darker but I could always do that by mixing it with the carmine so I think I'm fine with leaving it where it is yeah this is gonna be a really really interesting palette for me yeah I don't know if I'm gonna end up ordering more colors from them or just swapping in some of my own um, paints that I already have I'm gonna try leaving this palette as it is for a bit and see where it takes me because I really I wanted to pick something that I wouldn't normally pick because I wanted to encourage a little bit of creativity in my sketchbook using some alternate color schemes instead of just being a photocopier. That's not the point of artistry in my opinion. So I'm going to see how I do with these colors and see how I feel about the paints and I will come back to you with another video uh, potentially painting something with these paints in the near future. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!